vlog for her today. So <laughs> yeah, check out her vlog channel. Whoa, I just lost my hat. <laughs> Her hat. <laughs> All right, guys, I decided to do voiceover because I like doing voiceovers with my Get Ready With Me videos just because they end up being a little bit more informative. So applying my foundation all over as well as my concealer on the usual places. And then I'm going to go ahead and try this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette for the very first time on camera with you guys. Now, just a disclaimer, <laughs> I would not do this for like a daytime hanging out with Kristen, just casual. But um, because the palette was new to me I wanted to play with it I know it's a lot of makeup for like going to the mall and having Chipotle but again I wanted to have fun with it so don't judge <laughs> anyway I like to apply the lightest color under my eyes as well as the center of my face and then the darkest color on the hollows of my cheeks sides of my nose forehead and my jawline and then I also like to apply the highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bone and then the contour color on my crease so once the placement is there you just want to go ahead and blend this using either your fingers or a brush, whatever you like most. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Palette to set this highlight and contour in place. So the lightest color for the highlight and the darkest color for the contour. And for my highlighter, I'm going in with this Betty Luminizer Highlighter. I love this color so much. Applying this on the high points of my cheeks, center of my face a little bit, just very, very lightly because this stuff is pretty pigmented. For my blush, I'm going in with Melba by MAC. Again, this is one of my favorite colors. Applying this just on the apples of my cheeks and moving on to my brows. I'm using Brow Wiz and I'm just gonna make my brows a little bit thicker and fill them in. My brows have been growing thankfully because I am using some products to make them a little bit thicker just because naturally I have very sparse eyebrows. So once I fill them in, I like to just brush them nicely and moving on to my eyeshadows. Now this is the Lorac Pro Palette and it's got lots and lots of colors but I'm only gonna use about three or four colors today. I'm starting off with the lightest color and applying this on the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bone to give it that beautiful shimmery highlight. Next, we're gonna use this light brown color as a transitional color on the crease and blend this all the way to the inner corners. Next, we're gonna use Cool Gray. I'm applying this on my entire eyelids and I'm also gonna apply this on my bottom lash line and blend it very well. This just gives a very soft, smoky effect to the eye. And while we're at it, we're just gonna go ahead and apply this on the crease and really intensify that. So I do have a heavy fold and so a trick for me is to apply a darker color on my crease to really open it up. But I do this almost in every tutorial. This time I wanted to make sort of like a cut crease but really blend it well at the same time. So as you can see, I'm using a very small pencil brush and applying it on my crease and then going back to my fluffy brush and really blending all the harsh edges. And I decided to apply a black liner. This is the Hourglass glass liner and I'm applying this on the upper and lower inner rim. Just gonna intensify the colors a little bit more so the inner corner highlight as well as the crease color just really blending it and making it a little bit more dramatic. All right, for my lashes, I'm going in with XO Beauty, The Dreamer. These are by Shannon. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She goes by Shan XO on YouTube, and this is part of her line. I actually really, really like these lashes because they're very natural, and right now I don't have any mascara on, but I'm going to go ahead and apply one right now so you guys can see the intensity with some mascara added. Um, this is just the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and I'm applying several coats on both top and bottom, and voila, this is what you get. A soft smoky eye with tons of lashes. Now for my lipstick, I'm actually gonna go in with a lip liner and use Naked Number no. 2 all over my lips and leave it the way it is, just matte, no gloss or anything on it. All right, so for my hair, I'm actually gonna try and do a fishtail. Although my hair is really short, so it's kind of hard, but I managed to do it. I should have pinned it a little bit more because I feel like it was starting to fall apart, but it ended up looking pretty cute. Yeah. 
And here we go. I'm ready to head out, but first let's check out what I decided to wear. My hat is from Urban Outfitters and I've been wearing it non-stop. My shirt is by Zara and I actually just got it. My necklace is from Bobble Bar and it's really cute and dainty. It goes with a lot of things. I went with a small leather bag. This is actually the Philip Lim by Target collection and I ended up buying it from eBay because it was sold out. And then of course my usual espadrilles. Of course I'll have all the links down in the description box of everything that I used. So be sure to check it out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. I love you so much. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have KB in the house. What's up guys? <laughs> First stop is Target. We're gonna go pick up some stuff that we need.